Okay, good evening and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian Mitzion. Today we're learning Masechus Erevin, Perak Aleph, Mishnayas He and Vav. I want to talk today about Mishnah Vav. We started talking about Lechi today. Mishnah Vav. Lechi is the other alternative. Either you're, if you want a mat, you're carrying it on Mavoy. Besides the fact that you have to do Shitufe Mavoy, which we didn't discuss yet, you all have to own something together. All the houses on the street have to own something together. You also have to make something a hecker. You have to make something recognizable that you're now exiting the street and you're going into an intersection, which is possibly just a rabbin. So, because Mavoy is just a yachid. So, either you put a cross beam on top. We discussed, according to Rabbi Huda, it could even be above 20 amos. According to the Rabbana, we pass it has to be within 20 amos. People can see it because the Gemara is in Sukkah, only until 20 amos people look up and see. Um, the Lechi is a different option. According to Basil, either the Lechi or the Kor. The Lechi is just a post. Like in the Mishnah says here in Mishnah, it has to be at least 10 Tvachim high, so you can see it. It's a post, right? It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be wide at all. According to Rabbi Yossi, though, Rachman Shalish Tvachim, it has to be a three Tvachim wide. Now, we don't pass like Rabbi Yossi. The reason Rabbi Yossi is explained by the Rabbi Abadja Bartanura, he says, the boy Dover Choshev Machitza, you need something important in a Machitza. Like the opinion of Rabbi Huda, Rabbi Yossi's opinion is very similar to Rabbi Huda, who else don't hold like that. Of course, Rabbi Huda agrees that the whole purpose of the Kura and the Lechi is to recognize that you're at the end of the month, what you might be carrying through Shorabim. Um, but how much of a heck do you need? Is it just, you know, a sign, you know, like putting something strange over there? I just read about someone, um, a flight attendant on an airline, a famous airline, said, you know, for travelers who are in hotel rooms, and they often put their valuables in the safe provided in the hotel room, she recommends putting your shoe in, in the safe box also. Why? Someone's going to steal your shoe? No. Because <laughs> you can't leave the hotel without your shoes. It's very obvious you're only going to have, you're not going to walk around with one shoe. So therefore, you're not going to forget to take stuff out of the safe box, which could be very valuable. So here also, maybe just doing, hanging something, you know, as people have on the, 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 the phone wires. That when I was growing up, they always had like uh, shoes. They were hanging from the phone, the wire. They had shoes hanging, that pair of shoes. I don't know why they tied them. Um, something strange, you know, to see, to remind you, hey, you know, put a sign up, you know, this is the end of the Mavo, you might be going through Zerabim. That's really what all the Rabbana needed, just a hecker. So therefore, it has to be within 20 Amos. It doesn't have to be very wide. According to Rabbi Yossi, it has to be um, sort of like a machitza, right? It has to be more than a hecker. Rabbi Yossi says, I think he's Mahmir, is that it has to be um, like a wall, right? If I do something strange, okay, I saw something strange. Let's go on, let's proceed. I'll carry from Shliach to Shurabim. But it has to be something that resembles a wall. It resembles a wall. I say, hey, wait a second. There's a wall here, right? Why is there a wall here? It must be I am going from one Rishus to another Rishus. I'm going from one domain to another domain. And therefore, it's more Machmir. But we, Paschal, you don't have to be so Machmir that a little bit of a heck or recognition is good enough to deter someone from carrying from the Mavoy to Shurabim. Hope you enjoyed tonight's year. See you in the next one.